Some tech workers are now admitting to being paid a fortune to essentially do nothing. Keep in mind, in recent months, Amazon, Google, Meta, Microsoft, and Twitter have collectively chopped roughly 70,000 staffers. Correspondent Sloan Glass is live from New York. Sloan, this news coming as there's this wave of layoffs in the industry. And Nicole, many of these employees are very upset. It might sound luxurious, but their careers and ambitions were suppressed. Former big tech employees say that they were collected like cards and then told to do nothing, even being set up to be laid off. I've been hired many times by large companies in tech, and I haven't done anything. And I'm not saying that I wasn't working hard. I wasn't working. Emmanuel Maggiore is a software engineer who has worked in big tech. He believes this pattern has to do with tech companies' emphasis on gaining funding from venture capital firms, rather than focusing on what clients actually want and are willing to buy. Everybody wants to ride that wave, right? So what I've seen happen a lot is before any validation of whether a product is going to serve clients, if people are going to, to buy it, they just go all in and they put you know, a team of 20 people to work on something. Maggiore even calls the environment cult-like. I actually tried many times to approach people to see what they were working on, um, to try to get some work, to even devise solutions to problems, and I was told not to. I was told not just stay there, don't ask questions. Tech companies flushed with money during the pandemic went on hiring sprees in 2021, only to do a 180. The tech sector has cut more than 330,000 jobs since the beginning of 2022. Meta announced its most significant round of layoffs in November, 13 percent of their staff. The cuts came after the tech giant expanded their headcount by 60 percent during the pandemic. Britt Levy is a former Meta employee hired in April 2022. I was in a diversity program and um, myself and other individuals within the program, some of them most of the employees got something to do, but some of us were put on teams and told to do nothing. Levy chose not to take the severance package, which would mean signing an NDA in favor of sharing her experience. And in a lot of cases, Meta actually hired people that would still be with their normal employers, with their previous jobs, um, and wouldn't be unemployed now. They wouldn't be in this situation. And there are fears that the layoffs aren't over. A leaked memo signed by Google CFO says that they will continue to cut costs. Nicole. Yeah, uh, interesting things in that report there. All right, Sloan, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.